So in this uh, third report in the series, um, Turn Down the Heat, confronting the new climate normal, the really important new finding, I think, is that all of the pollution that we put into the atmosphere in the past decades means that we are now locked in to a one and a half degree centigrade increase in temperature by the mid-century. That means that there's very little that we can do about that and so we have to be able to adapt and build resilience to that. That one and a half degrees is going to have profound impacts on the development opportunities of countries all over the world. The findings of the report for Latin America and that this is going to have severe impacts on all aspects of the economy. So for example, in agricultural productivity, this could see a 70% reduction in soybean yield and a 50% reduction in wheat yield by 2050. For an economy structured the way that Brazil's is, this would have enormous impact. The impact on the glaciers of Central Asia is going to show huge disruption to water flows in both the summer and the winter, with droughts and heat spots and then torrential flows of water. This will have an impact on agricultural productivity, on rural livelihoods, on urban living, and in fact on the security of the whole region. So in the report confronting a new climate normal, we also look at the Middle East. And there the story really is about water again, this time rainfall. And what the report shows is that by 2040, for some parts of the Middle East and North Africa, we'll be looking at a 40% reduction in, in rainfall patterns. Now, what that means is you'll have extreme heat in cities, you'll have an impact on agricultural systems, and so what we eat and how we eat it, um, who gets to eat, um, will all be affected. And this will have uh, an exacerbated impact on what is already a water-stressed region of the world. Um, so many countries in the Middle East are already living with this problem and this shows that climate change really is the threat exacerbator that the International Panel on Climate Change has already talked about. I think there are two really significant uh, uh, findings from this report. One is this concept of lock-in. It really means that for the next 20 years the die has been cast and so the investment in resilience and adaptation is fundamental if the poor are going to be able to survive and prosper, and for the rest of us as well. Secondly is the question that we have to aggressively act to mitigate now, because if we've created lock-in for the next 20 years because of what we did 30 years ago, then what we do now will really shape the future for our children. And we simply cannot afford to hand them a planet that they will not be able to inhabit or survive upon.